about 4.5 billion years ago, gravity pulled a cloud of dust and gas together, which might have come from the explosion of a nearby star called the supernova. So, this massive concentration of interstellar gas and dust created a molecular cloud that would form the sun's birthplace. Because of cold temperatures, the cloud began to collapse under its own gravity, forming young stellar objects known as protostars. As gravity pulled the gas and dust together, it made the cloud start to collapse, thus forming a solar nebula. As it collapsed, the cloud began to spin. Eventually, the cloud grew hotter and denser in the center, with a disk of gas and dust surrounding it and it was cooler at the edges. As the disk got thinner and thinner, particles began to stick together and form clumps. Some of them got bigger, eventually forming planets and moons. So, near the center of the cloud, only rocky material could stand the great heat, like Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. While in the outer regions of the disk, icy matter was settled along with rocky material, where gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn formed. As the cloud continued to fall in, the center eventually got so hot that it became a star. Today we call it the Sun. The new star blew most of the gas and dust off the new solar system with a strong stellar wind. By studying meteorites left over from this early phase of the solar system, scientists have found that the solar system is about 4,600 million years old. <laughs>